岁月已经远去，掩饰不住心里的慌乱。尽管已经一把年纪，爱没有界限，每个人都有权利。爱不分高低，就像春风吹拂大地。我大声喊出我爱你，你听没听见？都有你，只要阳光伴随着你，那感动才有意义。我热烈的手望着你，你的笑就是个奇迹。只要幸福伴随着你，我生命就不可惜。Perfume is this anyway? Can't you fake these a bit better? How much is this? Three hundred. Thirty bucks. Two hundred eighty. Thirty-one. Two hundred fifty. Thirty-three is my limit. Deal. Okay. Excuse me, Mister. How are you today? I was knocking, but I guess you didn't hear me, so I showed myself in. Um. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Purity. I'm from the insurance company. I'd like to speak to you about insurance plans, which are perfectly suitable for you. I can't hear you. My hearing's bad. Oh, right. Uh, hello, sir. My name is Purity. And I'm here to sell you some insurance plans, sir. The drug to the town family. Come back again. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't. Dude, huh? don't get involved. You don't have to deal with this, dude. When you get blamed, you won't be able to clear your name. You seem like a good person. Hurry off now. Come on, back the way you came, man. Go on, over there. Straight then right. Remember to come back again, dude. I don't need any insurance. Thanks, but no Take thanks. Take her brochure, just in case. No, I'm all right. Oh, 
Auntie, come on, let me help you get up. Come on, Auntie. Auntie. Can anyone hear me? Someone's injured. We need some help here. Can anyone hear me? Oh, madam, you're here. You look great today. From afar, I thought a 20-something girl had arrived. <laughs> You've always been such a sweet talker. You won't get away that easy. Is this how you're going to repay me? I was just trying to help. I didn't hit your brother. I'll call you Brother Zang. I think brother-in-law is a little bit too distant. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Now, our mission today is to eat, play, and have fun. I was in Europe not too long ago. French perfume. I got it for you. Ernest, you're too kind. 150 RMB, huh? Euros. What? That's way too much! The shipment wasn't paid yet, right? No rush, no rush, no rush. Come Let's on, play Ernest. first. That's not fair. Come to my office tomorrow, okay? Sir, sir! You don't want to use that one. You'll need a good club for this shot. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> one club coming up. Hey, Wang, come here. Keep him company, will you? Don't think that you can run off that easily, miss. Don't even think about running. But he didn't do anything. Let go, let go. I'm not going to run. Pick up the phone. The phone is right by your side, and you can't even bother to pick it up. Well, I'm sure it's not for me. Hello? What? Oh, oh, don't cry. Don't cry, sweetheart. Don't worry. Grandpa's coming to get you right now. Don't move, understand? Stay where you are. What's wrong? It's getting late, and Purity still hasn't picked up Winnie. The poor child's been waiting all alone. I can't believe that girl. When would she stop making us worry? This is her own child, and she forgot to pick her up? I'll say it again. My name is Purity. My family oh, lives in Block 23, Maolin Residence. Can anyone wait, wait, wait. justice anymore? Here's my ID and my credit card, if that's what you want. It's just that I... Why won't you just admit it's her well, fault? Well, just have one card, but take it. And if the old lady needs any money... You can take it from there. But I swear I did not hit her. I was just trying to get her some help. And now I'm late. I was supposed to pick up my daughter from school. What is wrong with everyone? I can't believe this. Hey, hey, hey! Where do you think you're going? How come you're leaving? Hey, why are you letting her go? Hello, Professor Lee. Hi there, this is Winnie's mom, Purity. My daughter, Winnie, is... Uh, Matt Chan, did you pick up Winnie from school? No. Why? Did you lose a child? Oh, no, I'm sure she's just playing at her classmate's house. Mom, so, uh, tell me, were you able to pick up Winnie from school today? Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I'll pick her up tomorrow. Purity, did you find Winnie? Well, if you lose that kid one more time, or if you forget to pick her up from school again, the next time we meet, I won't be so nice. Now you listen to me, Matt Chen. You and I are divorced now, and I have custody of Winnie, so you don't have to worry about her because she's my responsibility. Do you understand? And don't be a hypocrite, all right? You haven't even paid me any alimony. You know, I bet you've been wearing the same shirt for days now, and that it stinks to high heaven. You'd better learn to look after yourself because you're not a kid anymore. Where are you anyway? Wait. Purity Yan, right? It's me. It's Ernest Zhang. Ernest Zhang. Don't you remember? Ernest Zhang? Uh-huh. I almost didn't recognize you there. Did you go abroad? No, why? Well, because you're so fashionably dressed. <laughs> oh, is that right? I had no idea I was so fashionable. <laughs> I'm so glad I bumped into you. Come on, let's sit down and catch up. Oh, well, all right, I can't then. believe it. Today must be my lucky day. <laughs> Purity Yang. <laughs> So we haven't seen each other ever since graduation day, am I right? That's right. You're as pretty as I remember. 
Are you kidding me? I'm an old lady Oh, now. come on. You're as beautiful as ever. <laughs> You're no old lady. You're just as pure and elegant as you ever were, really. Oh, stop teasing me, Ernest Zhang. I'm such a mess today. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's get off here. I can drive you home. My car is not too far from here. So you have a car? Uh-huh. Then why do you bother taking a bus? Well, the truth is, I had a few meetings today, and paying for parking is just way too expensive. You're still stingy, huh? I'm not stingy at all. It's called being pragmatic, you understand? So how are you? I'm sure you were gone for so long. Sure, but I'm back now. Hey, you know what they say, you need to draw the fist to punch with greater power, right? It sounds to me like you're doing quite well. I have a house and a car. That's not bad at all. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Well... Well, I guess I'm doing all right. But hey, how is your wife? Is she there as well? Who is? Your wife. What wife? Yes. I don't have a wife. I'm single. So you didn't get married? Oh, uh, sure, sure I did. Until she kicked me out anyway. <laughs> well, so are you married? <sighs> I got divorced. Divorce? Could you say it any louder? You're divorced? Uh-huh. Let's talk in the back, okay? Come on. Oh man, there goes my neck again, darn it. Uh, I guess I'll have to sit in the back again. Excuse me. Uh, hey, what about your child, huh? I have custody of my daughter. Anyway, can we not talk about me? I'm not in a good mood today. Why, what's wrong? You see, I was in an alley, and I saw an old lady who was hit by a car or something. So then I took her to the hospital. But her family accused me of hitting her and forced me to pay for the damages. So you hit an old lady? Of course not. I just took her to the hospital, but I didn't hit her. Why would I do that? Wait, wait, wait. So did this happen in the alley by the stadium? Yes, it did. How did you know? Well, I can be your witness then. I was there at the site. Were you really there? Uh. Will you be my witness? Uh -huh. You're willing to testify on my behalf? Hmm. Sure, of course I will. I'll testify, I'll testify. You promise me? <sighs> We're here. I live there. Let me walk you up. There's no need. I'll be fine by myself. Thanks for today, Ernest. Hey, listen. How about you come over for dinner sometime? What are you talking about? I should be inviting you out. After all, I'm the man, right? <laughs> right. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Sister Petra. I see that you're finally back. You said you didn't have any money for rent, but it seems that you have a rich boyfriend now. No, I don't. See, that wasn't my boyfriend. He's just an old classmate. Is that right? Whatever you say. See, it's like this. I really was going to pay you rent, Sister Petra, but then something happened to me today. Something special also happened to me today. You know that my entire revenue depends on you paying me rent, right? So if you can't pay me what you owe, then I'll be out in the street in no time. How about this? You see, I... I really don't have any cash on me right now, but I do have this. A platinum necklace from a really famous brand. You can hold on to that. Platinum, huh? Yes. Are you sure this isn't silver? It's genuine, all right. You can even have it tested. Hmm. It seems genuine. Excuse me. But you shouldn't be doing this. Didn't she just tell you that she ran into some trouble? So what's the big rush, huh? Tell me. How much does she owe you? I'll pay for it. And you say he's not your boyfriend. He even wants to pay for your rent. All right then, you have a deal. So how much? Ernest Zeng. 2,500. I mean, 2,800. Rent was raised, right? Tell him, Purity. Rent's 2,800. Everything is more expensive now because of inflation. You have a car, right? Doesn't fuel cost so much more now? Here. Count it. That's all right, I trust you. Although if it is short, I'll charge you for extra. <laughs> but this should cover it. Hey, listen. How come you're renting from someone like that? Because her place is close to my kid's school. And because I can't afford anything better. 
Anyway, take the necklace. Once I have the money, I promise that I'll pay you right back. Now don't be like that. We're old classmates after all. Take it. Thank you so much, Ernest. Stop being so polite. Come on, we're old classmates. Besides, you're also my dream girl. Huh? What did you say? No, I said we're old classmates, which we are. Right? Anyway, go ahead. All right. Don't forget to keep in touch, okay? Mm. Thanks again for the ride, all right? I appreciate it. Sure, anytime. Now. Drive safely, all right? Don't even mention we're old classmates, okay? Just say I'm a witness and that we don't know each other. But why would you want me to lie? Because they won't believe my testimony otherwise. But we were old classmates. What's wrong with saying that? Are you kidding me right now? Come on, Purity. How can you still be so naive after all these years? How can you be so cynical? You know not all people are bad. Then why are they trying to extort you, huh? Mm, all right then, we'll play it your way. But tell me the truth. Did you actually see who hit the old lady? No, I didn't. What? And you dare testify on my behalf? Why not? I trust you, isn't that enough? Listen, if you really hit that woman, you wouldn't be so righteous right now. Thank you for your trust. Just don't forget, you promised me that if I help you out of this mess, you're gonna treat me out to lunch. Just name the place. <laughs> Let's go. Get up. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to talk. Anyway, uh, here's the deal. So I found this witness who saw the whole thing. He saw me hit your mom with his own eyes. Whoa, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to say. I'm just nervous. He saw someone else hit your mom. Then he saw me help her to the hospital. Correct? Correct. How's your mom? Well, the doctor said that she may not be able to wake up for quite some time. What? You're going to pay till you're bankrupt, I'm telling you. You're going to pay all the hospital bills, I'm telling Just you. Just wait and see. We're going to make sure you pay for this. All right. Do it. Listen, guys, calm down. Don't get agitated now. I understand how you feel. We all have mothers here. And if anything happened to my mother, I'd feel the same way. However, I was there. And this woman did not hit your mother, and I'll testify to that. Well, I don't believe It's that. true. Now listen to me. Because if I'm lying to you right now, then I deserve to be hit by a car when I leave here. Listen to me. I was nearby when your mom had that accident, and I wanted to help her at first, but then I thought otherwise. The less trouble, the better, which is why I hit. You want to know why? Because there are too many people like you guys. You've proven that I was right not to help her. Now listen. She had every intention of helping your mom. You should be thanking her for crying out loud. But instead of doing that, you guys took her credit card away. Now how is that right? She tried to help your mother. She tried to do the right thing. And now, you want her to pay for doing a good deed? And pay till she goes bankrupt? What kind of people are you anyway? Do you even have a conscience? Hey, you can't talk to us like that. Hold on now. I'm not done yet. Recently, I went to Guangzhou for business. I saw a criminal who was robbing a young girl. And you know what? Not one person bothered to help her. So I went up to this guy, who then pulled out a big knife. You know what I did then? I gave him two hard kicks and I ended up breaking some of his ribs. But then we got to the police station. They thought we were fighting for no good reason. So I spent half the day trying to explain what happened. Although I still needed to pay 500 bucks in the end. You know why? Because my hand got hurt during the fight and I had to pay for the medical fees. In the end, the girl just left me there without even bothering to thank me. That made me mad. Since then, I decided that when I see trouble, there's just no way I'm getting involved. And I'm not going through that again. Hey, I'm not crazy, right? I mean, why even bother? Especially when no good deed goes unpunished. Look, all this girl tried to do was help your mother, all right? And you want to punish her for that? Just what kind of people are you, huh? You know what, Ernest? You were absolutely awesome back there. And I was really touched by that speech you made. Oh, and that last part. You said no good deed goes unpunished. It was really impressive. I was so touched I almost cried. You really know how to make a stand, Ernest. Hey, when you were in Guangzhou, did that really happen? I just saw that on TV yesterday. 
But it did really happen. So you raised all that fuss. And it's not even true? I was touched by a lie. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said anything. I didn't get the card back, so I can't treat you out to lunch. So what you're saying is, if that old lady never wakes up, then you're never gonna take me out. I don't understand. She should wake up. It wasn't that bad, right? I guess I'll owe you one. Well, actually, I really wouldn't mind taking you out. You don't have to do that. It just wouldn't feel right, you know? And I don't have time anyway. I have to get to work. I'm already late. Some other time, okay? I'll see you later. Oh, wait a second. Let me drive you. No need. There you go again. No, really. I don't work in an office. I sell insurance plans. Oh. What? You sell insurance plans. Why are you looking at me like that? What's the matter? Can I sell insurance plans? What's wrong with that, huh? That's not what I meant. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you have insurance? I'm insured by my company. Well, tell your friends and relatives. If they want insurance, they can give me a call. I could use the help. You see, I'm just one sale short of my quota, and I need to keep this job. Anyway, I really have to go now. I'll see you later. Hey, hold on a second. How about this? I'm off to collect fees at the supermarket, uh -huh. and all the managers there are practically seniors. I could ask them if they want insurance. That's a great idea. After all, it'll be easier with an acquaintance. Otherwise, they just drive you out. Hmm. Thank you so much for helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. After all, I'm Ernest Zhang. So if Purity Yang has any trouble, just find right. Ernest. Come on, I let's go. That. Hey, Purity! Oh! Um, Please come inside. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. So, anyway, I'd like to introduce you, ladies. Oh. This is my business classmate, Purity Yang. Oh. And she works for a really big insurance company. She's an expert financial planner. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and this is Beth Wang, the general manager here. Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Uh, let's talk about investment management. I'd like for you to take a look at this all-purpose product that we have. Oh. Here, why don't you hold on to this? There are other products on that list. I'm guessing that you have a child, Miss Wang? I have one. How old is your child? Uh, eight years old. Oh, she's about my daughter's age. Children are a great reason to buy insurance. After all, you never know what could happen to them. What if they die? You shouldn't start with that. Oh, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is... Uh, alright. So I have this customer and he just bought insurance for me. His kid met an accident and our company paid a lot of money. Mr. Chung, did you... Did you find the time to settle that bill yet? Let's just do this some other time, alright? We can also discuss get... our other products. Uh, not in the moment. I don't need insurance. How about I show you some... No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. It must be real hard for you to sell insurance plans. If they were easy to sell, then I wouldn't need any of your help. Uh, no offense, all right. But with that lousy sales pitch, you won't make a single sale. I don't have a way with words. I always blurt out the worst case scenario. All right, all right, just hold it right there. Who sells things like you anyway? You're selling tragedy. You're selling death. Right? Now listen, the only people who would buy what you're selling are those who are afraid of that. You don't need to stress the point. What's more, don't you know how to read people, huh? Her facial expression was as sour as a donkey's and you just kept going on. Wait, are you stupid or something? So I have a problem with my sales pitch. Calling it a problem is a big understatement. Now as an old friend, let me tell you something. Selling insurance is not for you. But I've already had several jobs. If I don't sell insurance, I can't take care of my daughter. Let me ask you something. Why'd you divorce? Did your husband hurt you? Is your daughter stupid as well? Am I stupid as well? So, originally, I wanted to take you to a five-star hotel for lunch. But then I thought that you're too stressed to eat anyway. And... In the future, when you get to return to favor, it wouldn't be so expensive. Which is why I chose this restaurant. It's nice. I'll pour you some wine. Sure. Ever so modest. Thank you. You know what? I just love white wine. Don't you? I like white wine too. I love the flavor. Have a shot. Cheers. Ernest Zhang. You know, for an old classmate, you sure went above and beyond. 
Someday, I'll definitely pay you back. <laughs> Never so modest. I'd like to ask you something that may be inappropriate, if you don't mind. Not at all. I know that you have insurance, but the thing is, I'm missing one sale, and if I secure that one sale, then I get to keep my job. So I'm thinking, maybe you can help me with this little thing? Would you consider buying a plan? You know what? You are something else. Can't you stop thinking about insurance? Uh, oh, come on. If you do help me out, I won't only provide great service, but I'll also reimburse stop, you down stop, the road. Stop, stop, stop. Just say one more thing about work, and you can forget it. You'll buy one then? Of course I will. I'm a man of my word, for heaven's sake. If you'll just sign here, then we're all set. It's always about the money, isn't it? There you go. All done. Here. You really signed it. <laughs> <laughs> you should see your eyes. Ernest Zhang, you really are my lucky star. Brother. Brother! He's not here. Why don't you give him a call? If my brother's not home, then that can only mean that he's busy, which means he needs his car. If we borrow his car, he'll need to get to work by taxi. Is that appropriate? No, it isn't. Exactly. Think before you speak, all right, Tiger? Okay. Never mind. Let's do this ourselves. What do we do tonight? We're staying here tonight. It's okay if he's not here. We have keys. All right, sweetheart. Tell me something, Ernest. Hmm? Why did you get divorced? Well, to be accurate, she actually kicked me out. Cold, huh? After graduating from university, I went back to my hometown. At first, I was at the cultural center, but the pay was way too low. Actually, the two of us were married for two years and eight months. Then she kicked me out. So cruelly, if I might add. <laughs> If I hadn't survived the trauma, I wouldn't be working my current job. What is your current job? Selling meat. Selling meat? Selling pork, really. Oh. I'm not just selling meat, you know. The questions are, it's to whom and at what price. I decide it all. I even have an office over here, and I do wholesale all year long. Mm -hmm. Come on, I mean, look how I'm dressed. Do I still have that student vibe to you? It's probably that pork smell. You have a good nose, you know that? I use so much cologne, and you can still smell the pork. <laughs> so anyway, you want to tell me why you got divorced? My ex had a mistress, and everyone knew about it. Everyone but me. Then I found out. So we split up. So your ex was a rich man? You could say that. You see? It's like I always say, money always corrupts good men. I mean, there are exceptions, of course. Like me, for example. I mean, come on, right? I am the classic bachelor. I'm not sure if you're the classic bachelor, but you're definitely not a cool catch. As a matter of fact, I think you're a man that's good for nothing. What? You think I'm good for nothing? Really? I know that I'm pretty low-key with my appearance, but come on. Nowadays, men like me are a real catch. We've gone mainstream, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Quit staring at me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, isn't this the store? Why aren't we going in? We can't go right in. We have to observe first. <laughs> sure, but uh... What are we observing? We have to observe the flow of the customers, the surrounding environment, and any potential competitors. If we don't have any of that information, we'll have nothing to talk about. Damn, you're so smart. <laughs> don't talk unless I give you the look, you hear me? When it comes to things like this, I can get very unsure. Why don't you just give me some cash so I can play video games? What was that? It's like killing two birds with one stone. Two birds with one stone, huh? Do you really think you'll be playing video games for the rest of your life? Since your ex was rich, why didn't you get any money when you got divorced? He said that I had no job and no income, so the kid couldn't be with me. And I raised that child so I couldn't just leave her now, could I? So then, after negotiations, 
I got to keep my daughter, but he got the house and everything. You really are stupid, you know that? Your ex-husband scammed you into settling! You know what? You should change your name. You shouldn't be called Purity. You're too upfront, too silly, too stupid. I listened all this time and now I get it. You fell right into his trap. Even though I haven't met your husband. Hey, I don't have a husband. He's my ex-husband. Fine, your ex-husband then. His actions have clearly demonstrated that he set up a big trap just for you. And you completely fell for it. Listen. And listen well, all right? You lost your job for that man. And you lost your youth for that man. And you gave birth to his child. Your ex should pay for your lost youth and for the pain of giving birth. You really think that was his plan all along? No doubt about it. Why would he want to hurt me like that? I was with him for 10 long years! <sighs> This door? All right. Hey, Purity, you're home, so go on inside. Wait, what's this? Purity Yang, originally I didn't intend to rush you for rent every month, but someone just paid me a year in advance. Please come find me when you come back so we can terminate your contract. According to the agreement you signed, I have the right to evict you from the premises at any time. Oh, for crying out loud, how dumb are you anyway? Why in the world would you sign such an unfair contract, huh? Hey, hey, hey! So where are you gonna stay tonight? Yo, Lin, guess what? Our department head is this real beautiful woman. Really sexy hips. Yeah, for real! Pretty. Yeah, very pretty. But way out of my league. Hey, 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 huh? hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Open what the door, will you? I said open the oh, door! Okay, okay. Uh, she looks wasted. All right, okay. watch your head, watch your head. Oh, careful. Here we go. Careful. Uh, are you good? Let's take her to my house. Huh? To your house? What are you trying to say? She can't go home and we can't leave her on the street. So just do what I say, all right? Oh, all right, fine. I got it. You're gonna get hit if you don't shut up. <laughs> what? I'm... I'm gonna puke. What? No, no, not in the car, not in the car! Oh, no! Purity! Ugh. Purity! Wake up! Purity? Oh man, I can't believe you drank that much. I know the food and wine were free, but come on. You just puked it all out. Uh, you should really drink less. Is my brother home already? Yeah, I think he's with a woman. <gasps> oh, there you go. Hey, Purity. Purity, wake up. Beauty, wake up, for crying out loud. I can't believe this is happening. Ah, this is all my fault. Hey. Oh man, you vomited everywhere. Your clothes are filthy. You may be fine with that, but my bed sure isn't. For crying out loud. All right. All right. Now I'm not taking advantage of you, you understand? I'm not trying anything funny here. I just want to get your clothes off, but I'm keeping my eyes closed. I'm not trying anything funny, all right? Now sit up. Oh, my eyes are still shut, so don't worry. I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> What are you two doing out here? Hey, so is that woman? No, 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 no. Come on, give me the key. Hand it over. Oh, come on. Someone sounds guilty. <laughs> I'm not guilty, all right? If you're not guilty, then show me who's in no, there. No, 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 no. No, no. Crying out loud. Oh, come on, Ernest. We saw her with her own eyes, right? And after all these years of you being alone, you're finally gonna have a real woman to help adjust your yin and yang. <laughs> you're the only one in the world who can make that sound so dirty, you know. I'm just happy you have a girlfriend. Or is she my new sister-in-law? 
Look here. It's not what you guys think it is, alright? What in the world are you talking about? You were taking off our clothes. He more like yanked them off. Do what are you talking about? I didn't yank anything off. I just... <gasps> oh, you mean this. It's just her shirt, alright? Besides, she's not naked at all. I mean, she's still wearing her underwear, you know? I don't want to hear the dirty <laughs> details, alright? Keep them to yourself. I just want to know, is she my future sister-in-law? You know what? Forget it. That's enough from you two. Go do whatever what it is you do. What are you going to do? <laughs> Stop that! Are you gonna have I that woman adjust to your union yet? Out of here. <laughs> hey, stop playing around. Was the woman pretty or what? Hmm, she was actually pretty. And the boss actually brought her home? No, 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 no. He didn't bring her home. Hey, come on, listen to me. I keep telling you. You and the boss are not a good match for each other. But you don't listen to me. Just mind your own business. She has alcohol poisoning. Oh man. And if she dies in my room. And where do you think you're going, huh? To watch your brother be a pervert. Crying out loud. If anything happens to her now, how am I supposed to explain it? Hey, 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 Purity. She seems to be okay. At least I think she is. Wine! Wine! More wine! I think I should keep my distance. Wine! More wine! <sighs> I want more oh. wine! Oh. Oh, I wasn't taking advantage. I was just trying to make you comfortable. You do know this bed can fit the both of us, right? I just... I just... I guess I'm taking this side then. So I washed your clothes and now they're dry and neatly pressed. Who took off my clothes then? I took off your clothes. You did? Then you definitely took advantage of I me! I didn't! I didn't take advantage, because if I took advantage then I'd be a... A what? I'd be a really bad man. Pervert! 
Now listen, Purity, I'm telling the truth. You see, I have a tell. And every time I lie, I rub my eyes like this. You're rubbing them right now. Wait, that was just a demonstration, all right? But you still rubbed your eyes, so you did it to me. No, I didn't do anything. I swear to you, I didn't. <laughs> now listen, it's not like you're a child anymore. It's not like you never did it. And even if I did something, I still think you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. You're overreacting. All right, why don't you go and look at the mirror? I don't want you ruining the image that I have of you. Go, 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 go. Go. It's in there. My goodness. Can't believe this is happening. For crying out loud. Ernest, since you guys were sleeping so well, we didn't want to disturb you. Anyway, we just want to let you know that we borrowed your car. We'll bring it back by noon today. Maybe then you can tell us who exactly was sleeping in your bed. Ah, oh, darn it, Sammy. did a good job this month, so keep it up, everyone, and aim higher, okay? Uh, Little Yang, unfortunately, you sold the least insurance this month. See, Little Yu has only been here a month, and he's done better than you have all quarter. If this continues, then your salary may be partially withheld. Uh, all right, I promise to try harder. Okay, get to work. What are you doing here? I got a phone call from Winnie. She said you worked here. It's not bad. If you wanted to talk, you could have called. Why are you here? You know what? When Winnie's in your care, I feel uneasy. Well, I won't put Winnie in your care. Mm -hmm. Besides, you've only known her for a few days. And you have the guts to tell me that? Come on. Anyway, since you're here, give me some money for Winnie. <laughs> Come on. Didn't you say that you could raise Winnie by yourself? I can raise her myself, but you're still her dad. I know I'm her father, but I'm sure that you remember our divorce agreement. Which was a booby trap, right? So I'm gonna tell Winnie that her dad is already dead. <sighs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't think I won't, and I'm gonna find her a new dad, a better one. So he way. 你就在那里，忘了时间，川流不息。我用人心留你在身边，却还是忘了你模糊的脸。
思念。